Hello, Miss Steele here. So this week we are talking about balance and we're gonna make some masks and we're gonna try to create some symmetrical balance, which means the same on both sides. For this project, you're going to want a few things. You're gonna want some colored paper. I just grabbed a few different pieces. You really only need one piece of full colored paper. And then I have a few other pieces of colored paper. If you don't have any, you could always just use white paper and color it. So I have some different paper. You want a pencil and an eraser, definitely our art tool basics, some glue, some scissors, and something to color in with. I have markers, but you can use what you have. So I'm gonna move these out of the way, and what we're going to do first is we're gonna start with the base of our mask. To make this, we're going to take our piece of paper and we're gonna draw a very large oval. So I go almost to the edges of my paper. As big as I can make it, because if I make it bigger, then I can fit in more details. So I have an oval. And I'm also gonna draw one straight line, not half, but towards the bottom. Like a third of the way. One, two, three. I am going to cut this out now, and I'm also going to cut on that line that I made. And why I'm cutting this out, I do want to talk a bit about how we can make these masks look more like masks. And really, the important detail is adding in some sort of eyes and then some sort of mouth. You can also include details where the nose would be. But besides that, I'm kind of going to leave it up to you. So I have this cut out now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of glue to one side of this cut. If I can get my glue open. Give me one second. All right, so I have my glue open. You could also use tape or staple for this. I'm just going to use glue. So I have glue on one side of my line. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bend this in and then squish it down. And unfortunately, glue does not work like magic. It wants a little bit of help from you. So I like to hold it for a hot second. Sometimes take some leftover glue, put it on the inside if I need to. Squeeze that down too. So now I'm actually going to set this aside and I have my 3D sort of mask shape. This is the bottom, this is the top. I'm going to set this aside and let that keep drying. And I'm gonna start working on some details for my mask. So I think I'm gonna start with my eyes. And you can make your eyes whatever color and shape you want. But I just wanna show you how I like to cut things to make it uh, double. So I'll take my paper and then I'll fold it in half and then I'll draw whatever shape I want for my eyes. I think I'm gonna do kind of a large sort of lemon shape like that. And once I have a shape that I like, why it's still folded, I'm gonna cut it. And then I will have two of the exact same shape to start out my eyes. And just like that, I have two of the same shape. I'm gonna glue these down and I'm gonna work on my eyes for a little bit and then I'll check back in once we get to um, the mouth and the nose part and then any sort of details you might wanna add. So I'm gonna start working on this and if I put it on one side, let me turn the brightness down on this, I wanna put it on the other side because I want them to be um, symmetrically balanced. So if I add something to one side of the face, I want to do the same thing on the other side of the face. So I'm going to keep working on my eyes, making for sure everything's nice and glued down. This just takes a lot of cutting and a lot of gluing for this project, but I think that makes it a little more fun just because at this point in the school year, you know, we've been working on our scissor skills, our glue skills. And this is one of those projects that's a little more open-ended, so it kind of lets you decide how you want to make your project. So I'm going to keep working on these, and then we'll check back in. So 
Uh, I'm finishing up my eyes, but I wanted to show y'all what you can do with white paper is you can color in like a certain type of design. I knew I kind of wanted a crazier design for my eyebrows. So I colored in these stripes using the markers. So you can always use, um, no, I think I might color it this way. So you can always use white paper and then um, use some markers to make a specific sort of design if you like. So I wanted really colorful eyebrows, so that's what I did. Alright, so I added on a little nose design, and it's not exactly in the center, but it's very, very close, so I'm going to count that as big. And now what I want to think about is what I want to do for my mouth. So I think I'm going to grab some orange paper, and I am, like I have been, going to fold this in half, and then I'm going to draw the shape for only half. of what I would want for my lips. And in doing this, I can assure that it will be the same on both sides. Boom. Kind of looks like a mustache, but also a mouth. Kind of creepy. I kind of like that about it. So now that I've gotten the basics of my facial uh, features done, me, something for uh, my eyes, something for my mouth, something for my nose. I can think about what other things I might want to add on. I think I'm gonna try to do some feathers and flowers just cause that's what I'm in the mood for. I'm also gonna go back with my marker and add in some outline to the slip. It doesn't have to be perfect, especially since I've already glued it down on here. So you can always use your markers to add on some details as well if you want to. I don't love that, so I'm going to go back and fix it and just go all the way around like that. I think it could use some work still. <laughs> I'm going to work on these lips and then um, I'm going to start adding in some feathers and flowers going all the way around. I am going to show you a really cool way you can make um, a feather with some really fun textures and also how you can make some 3D flowers. So I'm going to show you for the flowers first. What you could do for flowers is kind of similar to how we made the mask. You can start out with a circle, add a cut down the middle, and then you can add some glue to one side, like this, twist, bend, squish. And then you can have um, 3D flowers going around. And then for a feather, if you're wanting to make a feather, what you could do is cut out a big skinny sort of oval but you want it to be pointed on the end so kind of like a lemon shape and then I like to draw a line lightly down the middle of it as close as I can get it and then I use my scissors and I just make small cuts going all the way down towards that center line I try to space them out as evenly as I can but if they're not perfectly spaced out that's okay and again, you can do feathers and flowers like I'm doing, or you can choose to do something completely different. And then I'll turn it and I'll go down. And again, I'm not trying to cut all the way through because I want this to stay together as one piece. So I'm just cutting down the sides like this. So I think I want to make some feathers and some flowers going around here. I'm going to touch up my... Um, lips. I could also go back in and just using my markers add on any details I might want. So I have five on that side so I need, I need to do one, two, three, four, five on this side. I'm going to keep working on this and then we will check in once I am finished. All right so I just finished up my mask. I did some feathers here on the bottom 
I did some flowers going around. I used some markers to add in some design underneath. And I'm going to consider that finished. So I tried to put the same thing on both sides so it's um, balanced. I can't wait to see how yours come out. You can always flip it over and put it in front of your face and wear it like a mask. I will see you all next time. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your morning, your evening, or afternoon. Bye.